again. So, before I start showing you the different uh, types of compound adjectives, I want you to, to remember what is a compound adjective. So, it is a two or three word adjective that together act as one word and are connected by a hyphen. As I said earlier, these words could be a noun, an adverb, a preposition, or a past participle. So you will see them here in the table in different colors. So you may notice here number, noun, uh, ing verb, participle, adverb, adjective, etc. So in the table below, we see the different constructions of compound adjectives. Let's start with the first one. So here you have number plus Noun. Here I added here singular noun. It's very important here. When you say it's a singular noun, it's not a plural noun. Example, this is a 200 dinar mobile phone. I will take this sentence as a major example here. I will write it so before you construct the compound adjective. So here the original sentence says this is a mobile phone which costs 200 dinars. Here I will focus on the noun here. We have the noun dinars and it is in the plural of course 200 dinars. Huh? 200 dinars. When we are going to turn this into a sentence which contains a compound adjective. We say this is a. So notice here the changes that we make. So this is a 200 and the hyphen here it's very important 200 this is the number 200 hyphen dinar notice here that we omitted the S. There is no S. It's a singular noun. So this is a 200 dinar mobile phone. So here we are describing the mobile phone. Huh? We say it's a 200 dinar mobile phone and there is no S. It's a singular noun. So here I explain. So this is the number. This is the hyphen and this is the singular noun. This is the first combination here. Let's move to the second one. Number plus noun plus ed. Example, it is a four-legged insect. Here notice that when we say number you can write it in letters like here four or in numbers like here 200 or 35 in the next example. So it is a four-legged insect, four. Number, leg, it's the noun, and here you add the ed, here you have uh, doubling the consonant, it's an exception. Example three, number plus year plus old. The 35-year-old woman was infected with COVID-19 virus. So here, 35 number, year, old. Woman was infected with the COVID virus. Here, I want you to go back to the, here, the omitting the S. So the original sentence was a woman who has 35 years old. Okay? When we turn it into the compound adjective here, using a so you say it's a 35 year old not years old okay next one noun plus ing verb example the reaction to this vaccine was life threatening life noun threatening it's an ing verb next noun plus past participle this is homemade bread so to describe bread we said it's home, noun, plus made. Made is actually the past participle of to, the verb to make. Huh? So make, made, simple past, and also made, past, participle. Next one, 
adverb plus ing verb. Example, breast cancer is the most rapidly increasing disease that affects women. Rapidly, adverb, increasing is an ing verb. I remind you of what is an adverb here. An adverb is made up of an adjective, for example here, rapid, quick, plus ly. So this is the thing that you add, ly. Rapid, rapidly, quick, quickly, etc. Next one, adverb plus past participle. Example, we have to give physically, so physical is the adjective, plus ly, this is the adverb. Physically, handicapped people priority. So people who have physical handicaps. Adverb, physically, handicapped is the past participle of handicap. Next one, adjective plus ing verb. Example, he is a good looking man. Adjective good looking is an ing verb. The one before the last, adjective plus noun plus ed. Example, she is a blue eyed girl here. So you have a color adjective, blue. I is the noun plus ed. So here, as you said, he, as you saw here, the exception now, we can't say legged, you add ed. No. It's double consonant. Legged, double g. Here you have blue eyed. You can't say i and you add another ed. So here, because they are vowels, so it becomes a eyed. So we tend to simplify. We add, we add just the d. That's it. Next one, which is the last one, <laughs> adjective plus noun. Example. These techniques pose long-term threats on human beings. So here to describe threats, these are long, adjective, term, threats. I hope that you found this grammar lesson about compound adjectives useful. Don't forget to follow us in the next video to make some practice. Thank you very much.